segue. Who is who has anxiety and is absolutely depressed right now, man? Not you. Good. Shout out to the people who are, you know, not in that state. And chat to the people that are saying me, are you actually like depressed or are you just having a bad day, bro? Some of y'all really need to think about it. Sometimes you have a bad day and then you just want to throw the word depressed out there. Or say you have anxiety when it's like you just you just don't really feel like doing something. Now, I'm going to say this now. I never really like uh, I never really felt like uh, nervous or anything. Whenever I, was, whenever I was out in public or had to do anything until I started to get known around. And then that's when my anxiety, like, that's when I started to get anxiety. And it would it would just be so weird. Anytime I was out in public anywhere, I would just feel weird because I would feel eyes just on me. Looking at everything that I was doing. Everything that I was doing, everything. Anytime I was eating. Literally people at restaurants. People that bring the food just staring at me. Like, yo, are you? And it's just like now when whenever you do anything, that's why I love when we have the mask and I still go around. I'll have my mask on just because like, I don't know. It's just like a shield. It just feels like a, a shield. So it's like I, I've experienced that. I've, obviously, I've experienced depression as well. I think I've talked about this before in the past, but I saw this video about nine, nine cognitive disorders that can cause anxiety and depression. That way, we can probably fix that shit, the anxiety shit. Cause like, bro, the one thing, the the last time I got the most anxiety is when I was at uh, Universal. And you know those people who paint pictures of you, but you gotta sit there and like make a face? Danielle wanted to do one of those. And the where we were sitting, there was always crowds of people walking our direction. So it's like, they would just be staring. And I was just sitting there and I had to have like, it was, it was so, it was the worst thing ever, bro. It was the worst thing ever. And I, I bro, like, that's when I knew for sure, like, bro, my, like, I have serious anxiety. Also at DreamCon, it was overbearing because so many people was coming up to me, especially like fucking little, little ass kids just staring at me like, hey, 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 hey. I literally had to go to the side of uh where, like the VIP room and just hang out. But luckily this year, it should be cool. This should be like chill this year. I'm being with all the homies. I'm be with some bros. I'm being a cut and all little kids will be, I don't know, fucking whatever the fuck they doing, man. I don't know, man. Isn't there like an age limit or something? I don't know if there is, but there fucking should be. Feel like Pharrell in 07 on my shoes, ice cream, make stars, stop them out, it's a man down Maybe my little custom PC getting fanned out Not from the block, I'm from the H and we don't play around Catch him at a red light with a nerf gun, we gon' spray him down Nah, somebody said, you. I think it was awkward, not anxiety No, it was definitely anxiety, bro Like, I've been in awkward situations Awkward is just like, well, like, if I'm in an awkward situation, I'll be like, well, this is, this is kind of awkward but it's like anxiety is like no i literally felt uncomfortable like i wanted to just i wanted to just like die bro <laughs> i just wanted to just, just, just like all just go away bro like it was that it was that bad lies to us all the time it does it without you even realizing that things are not as they appear these unhelpful this is why, inaccurate thoughts this is why people use so many fucking filters on their pictures bro because the mind the mind be lying bro chat you're beautiful well not actually some of y'all <laughs> some of y'all your mind's not lying let's just be honest okay let's just be honest but that doesn't mean you shouldn't be comfortable in your body you should always be comfortable in your body okay you feel like you're being attacked but this is the thing it's like you should feel comfortable in your body because at the end of the day who cares what other people think there are people who be calling me ugly. There are people who be calling me skinny. There are people who call me anorexic. All this shit, make fun of my weight and all this shit. But guess what? I don't give a fuck. Like, that type of shit was happening to me in middle school. And it's happened so much to it's at the point where it's like, that joke, like, the skinny jokes, is like the lowest joke that I could ever... Like, it's just, it just doesn't phase me. Because it's just so old. Like, bro, you need to eat a sandwich. Like, it's just the bottom of the barrel type jokes. So it's like, I never understood how people still let that shit get to them, whether they're overweight or, or underweight. And it's just like, sometimes there's things that you just can't control or it's just, that's just part of your body. So it's like, fuck it. If they talking about how you look physically, like, 
okay is that is that it is that is that all you have because you yeah you, you're really not hitting any other spots are called cognitive distortions and they happen because the mind tries to convince us that our feelings are caused by outside circumstances when in fact it's the way our mind interprets those circumstances that affects how we feel mm. it's important to be able to recognize and challenge cognitive distortions otherwise they exactly someone said it once you get over that hurdle life becomes easier once you get over the hurdle of caring what people think and trying to be accepted into the like this uh a, a certain group of people or a certain status and once you get over the fucking hurdle of caring about your how many likes you get on a picture or how much of this that you have or what you drive and things like that life becomes easier because at the end of the day none of that shit fucking matters unless you like unless you actually happy like who cares bro like a lot of those people who be talking shit don't got their shit going on or they're they are self-conscious about something worse than what you're self-conscious uh self-conscious about right now. They can contribute to feelings of anxiety and depression. In this video, we will explore nine common cognitive distortions and what you can do about them. All or nothing thinking makes us see things as either all good or all bad, stopping us from seeing the shades of gray in the middle, mm. like coming second in a contest and feeling like a failure because you didn't come first. Mm. It also makes you think in absolute terms, such as always and never. All or nothing thinking creates perfectionism and sets unrealistic expectations for ourselves and others, which can reduce our motivation and lead to failure and disappointment. Which is true. Um, I never, I, I feel like I, I don't think I've ever had this thought, but I know people who are like, if they don't, if they're not winning, they're losing. And if they're losing, they need to do like, then they're, then they're failing or whatever. But it's like, bro, sometimes sometimes stuff like that needs to happen so you can learn from whatever it is that you just took an L from. You can't always be perfect. You can't always win. Like, with the, uh, what was it, bro? Um, God damn it. Go-kart, bro. Like, the go-kart shit. I just be, bro, I just be having, I be having a good time. Like, I can't let shit like that bother me. Imagine, like, you take an L and the whole internet is on your head about about it. Or if like something happens in a game and the whole internet is on your head about it. Like when I played the choice based game, whatever the fuck it was, the last one with the homies and my character died first. Literally, I was getting messages of people just like mad because my, my character died first, like was on my head mad. But it's like I, I was not sitting down in the fucking fetal position looking at all these messages and these comments like oh, I always fail. I'll never be good enough for who? For people that's just gonna switch up like like that already, do not change who you are or like feel that you need to be some way or accomplish certain things to please the people of the internet or even your family or friends. Cause they're not gonna be there like every step of the way, all the failures and all the like things that you do succeed in. They're not gonna be there every step of the way to judge you or give you a high five when you do succeed. Cause if you look for them like, to not, uh, if you if you look at them and care about what they say every time they every time you fail, you're gonna be looking for them to say something every time you accomplish something, and it's like you're not even gonna feel completely accomplished because they didn't acknowledge it. Fuck that, right? Like feel good because you accomplished it, not because somebody witnessed you accomplish it and say like, oh my god, you did it. But then at the same time, I definitely get that because you know in movies when people be fighting like. I'm gonna use Harry Potter for example. I thought this way when I was younger. I was like, bro, Harry Potter just fought Voldemort and it was a, it was the Goblet of Fire. I was like, he just fought Voldemort and then gets transported into the crowd with the dead nigga and nobody saw it. So like nobody, nobody gonna believe him. <laughs> like it seemed like he just, he ain't really do, he probably didn't do nothing. It's like, damn bro, ain't nobody see that I just really fought this nigga. Like, I really just did this shit to him. And it's like, fuck, nobody saw that shit. But it's like, you, you, you know you did it. But I'd be pissed, though. I, I would high key be pissed if I did something as crazy as that and nobody witnessed it. But it is, it is what it is. It'd be for like example, that sometimes, bro. You may feel like your day was a waste of time because you didn't complete every task you set for yourself. Nope, not me. You drink a whole bottle of wine because you've broken your rule not to drink this week and decide you might as well finish it off. Jesus Christ. You decide that a colleague gets everything wrong based on just one or two mistakes. No, Dumbledore didn't die. I'm talking about the Goblet of Fire, bro. It was like Cedric. His name was Cedric. That nigga was dead, bro. He came back out the portal with Cedric. 
That nigga body would bleh. Damn, bruh. All right, peace, Cedric, man. If you find yourself engaging in all or nothing thinking, remind yourself that absolute- My boy! Be sure to look for the- JK Rowling is transphobic. Don't think I fucking ass. Like, people be saying shit like that, like, I give a fuck, bruh. Shades of gray and positives in between. Labeling is a form- I'm gonna say this for these, for these type of people, man. I done already read the books. I done already watched the movies. I'm gonna continue to play the game. Yeah, she's transphobic. I'm going to unread all I just did and all my enjoyment in my childhood. I'm going to unsee all the movies that I just saw and enjoyed in my childhood. No, my nigga, that shit is Im implemented in there. And I can't wait for the game to come out. The fuck? Form of all or nothing thinking where we give ourselves or someone else a label. Cancer culture, a single like the cancer people be trying to do too much. Who we are. For example, if we label ourselves as stupid after making a mistake, we're more likely to think and behave in this way because labels can become a self-fulfilling prophecy. That's why, chat. That is why, chat. And I said this day one. If you, if you an OG, if you've been here, you can vouch. That's why I don't like labels. That's why I don't ever label myself anything. When people ask me, yo, what are you, are you this? Are you that? Are you? No, bro. I'm Dante. That's, that's my name. Like, that's just my name. I'm living life, doing what I want to do, how I want to do it, navigating through this thing that we call life until I die. And that's it. I don't want no labels. Like, you can call me whatever you want to call me, but I didn't say that. That's what you said. But that's the internet. They're going to say a lot of shit that you did not say. So, uh, it is what it is. There's no point in trying to correct them. When you notice your labeling, stop and think of the label as a snapshot behavior. I heard this, rather when, than I heard this when I was younger. I think that's why I subconsciously I'm like that. As of defining... Jojo, shut the... Shut the... Shut the hell up. ...characteristic. And remember, labels are better suited to jars than they are to people. Oh! That's my fucking, that's, that's the next motherfucking caption. Labels are better suited for jars than they are for people. That's, that's, that's the quote for today. They are for people holy shit that's the quote for today run it back l caption l life my nigga <laughs> are you gonna let that affect you or are you gonna cry in the corner and say how hey, you never can be better for your streamer <laughs> shut your bitch ass up nigga the label is a snapshot behavior rather than as a defining characteristic and remember labels are better suited to jars than they are to people mm. mind reading involves making assumptions about what others are thinking or feeling without any evidence. For example, if a friend doesn't reply to us immediately, oh my God, she hates we may me. jump to the conclusion that they're mad at us. We can't read someone else's mind. Maybe she's getting her fucking back blown out. Like, relax, man. And that's how y'all be. A lot of y'all be. A lot of y'all in the chat be, man. Oh my God, Dante hasn't acknowledged that Corey Kenshin hit 10 mil. Is he mad at him? Does he not like him? Like, chat just be on dick of anybody that, I, like, if I don't talk about something, they assume that I just don't care or, like, I I don't like the person. Relax, man. You just graduated? I don't think I fucking asked. I'm joking. Congrats, man. And so, we need to remember that our... <laughs> Someone's... Wait, Corey hit 10 mil? <laughs> assumptions are just projections of our own thoughts and feelings. That is so true. That type of shit is just projection. Stop projecting your shit onto me. Like, damn, what do you have against them, man? What do you have against all these people, bro? Assumptions are just projections of our own thoughts and feelings. And that's another thing. That, uh, that Technoblade dude. Like, people spamming it in my chat. I already told y'all how I feel about that shit. Like, how I feel about when people spam about somebody dying. You do that because, like, not because you care. It's just because you want a reaction and somebody to talk about it. Like, I swear to God, if any nigga does that when I die, go to people's chat and be like, rip, rip, I'm Dante. Like, niggas that don't even watch me or probably don't even know about me, you're a fucking weirdo. Like, wasn't he like a Minecraft YouTuber? Like, you think I fucking watch that shit? I don't know what that fucking is. So for you to go to, uh, like, my stream and just type that shit, you're doing it for attention. You're doing it for attention. You're doing it because you want to see the streamer's reaction. And I don't know what type of reaction you want, but you want a reaction for a fucking clip or some weird shit. Dumbass nigga. 
Fortune telling is another form of jumping to conclusions in which we make assumptions about Ugh. what's going to happen. You're Often sick. predicting things are going to go badly without evidence to support the prediction. You're immortal. Nope. Assuming the future is set in stone. Nobody's immortal. You know what is immortal though? These videos. All, all this, th my music. That will live on forever. Which is why I love doing this. And which is why I'm so glad that like on my second channel, I just had, there's just like a full catalog of just shit that I've just <laughs> been doing that people can watch until, until whenever, until they're like, oh, what, yeah, 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 blah, blah, whatever. And anyway. Can lead to feelings of pessimism and hopelessness. Catastrophizing involves expecting the worst case scenario in any situation. Now, I don't expect the worst case scenario in every situation, but I do think of what I would do or how I react in worst case scenario. Anytime I get on a plane or anytime like I'm in a public place or even if I'm like on a roller coaster or some shit like that, I just think about, okay, like if something, if something bad were to happen, what would I do? Where are the exits? Boom. I don't think that's bad. Maybe it can cause, I think it causes anxiety though. If you like are thinking that it's going to like, something's going to happen. Like just, just, just be alert. I'm not saying, you know, be st stressed out about it, but definitely be alert. I think more people in the world should do that too. Like experiencing turbulence and expecting the plane to crash, killing everyone on board. Getting a disappointing exam grade and thinking you'll never get. Damn, I'm a outlive Dante nigga already pushing 30. What the fuck does that mean? How is that funny? Y'all are so weird, man. <laughs> get into college. What the Fearing you'll be alone forever after a romantic breakup. Shaq can relate to that. Or waiting to get fired at work after making a simple mistake. Ain't nobody care about like, bro, niggas, bro, who, who, fuck that job. And I'm saying that to you too. Fuck that job, bro. Do not like stress yourself over a job that you don't even like. I get it. You need to pay the bills. Um, but you need to use that job the same way they use you. Do not give a fuck about them. Like you show up late. Oh, well, like what they going to do? Find somebody last minute. I'm here. I'm here now. Like, I'll do my job now. Like, the fuck? That shit pisses me off just for y'all. Like, that shit is annoying how these jobs be. Catastrophizing can contribute to anxiety in a range of situations. So what can you do about it? Decatastrophizing involves learning to question our thoughts so that we can better understand our worries. Mm -hmm. Often, we realize that our worries are unlikely to come true or that the worst case scenario really isn't that bad or worth worrying about. Chat, you y'all, if y'all are single and y'all want to be in a relationship, that shit will happen. Like, trust me, that is not the worst thing that you think you gonna be experiencing it. It seemed like that now because you you you're not really talking to nobody or things like that. But guess what? Start talking to people, bro. Just start mingling. Like, the shit is gonna eventually fall through. Like, ex especially since a lot of y'all are young too. Like, just start talking to more people. It ain't that hard. It's only hard because you making it that hard. You. Thinking how, like that, like, um, I'm probably going to blow it. I don't even know why I would talk to, like, I would probably blow it. Like, dude, just talk to them. Mental filtering is like wearing a pair of glasses. It is? No, it is because you're saying it is. Like, I don't need to, I don't need to try, like, it's the same thing when I be trying to motivate people. I can't make you get motivated and go out there and do what you want to do with your life. I can tell you all I want, but at the end of the day, it's up to you if you want to listen to what the fuck I'm saying. I'm a living example of it. It would, it, like... If it wasn't for me wanting to do this, like really wanting to work for myself, I wouldn't be working for myself. But I really, really wanted that shit because I know I didn't want to work these fucking shitty jobs, bro. And I did that shit. And if you really want to like find someone or like be with something, which it shouldn't be like your main goal in life. Like there's other things to worry about. Like, you know, that shit will come. But if that's really what you want to do, like you would make conscious oh, efforts. It's not just going to fall in your lap. Like, like women don't just fall in, out your lap or in your lap, man. I mean, they can, but then, you know, R. Kelly, like Bill Cosby, that's just, just fucking weird. That's not the way to go about it. That filter out anything positive, leaving only the negative details. This mm. makes us perceive the whole situation in a negative light. Yeah. And prevents us from it seeing other possibilities. I think one day, on, like the ice age before, everything from our civilization will disappear. Nobody is immortal, so the only thing that matters is living your life the way you want to. Because the Exactly. Dante, how do you talk to women? I don't talk to women. I'm already married, bro. I got lucky. Like, like, in high school, I just was like, yo, 
I, I think we talk, I, I messaged her on Facebook. And that's, that's another thing. Like, bro, if y'all aren't, if you can't talk to somebody in person, just message them. All y'all niggas on Instagram anyway. Do that shit. I literally just messaged her and be like, yo, you want to be my girl? And she said it. I guess I, <laughs> I guess I'll. <laughs> and then boom. Yes, I slid on her DMs on Facebook. Yeah, old, yeah, old head. And some of y'all are like young heads and still don't got a bitch. Like, bro, what the fuck? Cause you scared to fucking DM, bro. Y'all niggas piss yourself when y'all when when she re when it says on like scene. Like, what the fuck? Old head methods. Inst so y'all y'all mean there's no Instagram messages? It's so crazy because like everybody that's talking right now, like, bro, like I'm trying to help y'all, but like you're not listening. <laughs> you're not listening, bro. You know what? Fine. Fuck it. Stay single. I already got me a wife, man. I'm already married. <laughs> Good luck. Mental filtering is like wearing a pair of glasses that filter out any. Have you seen this video of this guy ranking best dressed streamers? He said you can't dress. Wow. Guess what? I don't think I fucking asked. Thing positive. Leaving only the. You see how that work? You see how that work? That's that. That's that mental fil filtering. Now I could have had a mental filter and be like, who said that I couldn't dress? I know I can dress. People tell me that I have, I have, I have fucking drip. I gotta watch this video now. I gotta say something about him now. Like, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck, bro. Like, who? Negative details. I don't dress to impress another nigga. And why is he looking at how, I, how I'm dressing anyway? Huh? Does he want to fuck me? No, thank you. One, I'm not like that, and two, I'm married. This makes us perceive the whole situation in a negative light and prevents us from seeing other possibilities. Mm. It's important to pay attention to the positives and the negatives so that we can see the situation in a more realistic light. Mm. Yo, The Real Sean, thank you for the 10 get the subs. Wow, a nigga don't like how I dress, but I just got 10 get the subs. Crazy how the world work. <laughs> Crazy how the world work. Bro, I don't give a fuck. I still might watch the video though, cause I just, you know, we do some trolling over here, man. We do some trolling, man. Plus people like drama, I ain't been in, you know, probably start some drama, be like, yo man, I don't like the way you dress, nigga. How about that? And you a bitch. Let me guess, he has dreads, don't he? Nigga. <laughs> Discounting the positive. Does he have dreads? Hold on, let me click. Let me click, if I see dreads, bro, I, I will. Hold on, hold on. Let me see. Yo, I, I... man, look at your beard, dog. I'm on your head, man. <laughs> it's similar to filtering, but instead of removing the positives, we just tell ourselves they don't count. Like receiving a compliment. I'm joking, bro. Chill, bro. And thinking that someone is just trying to be nice or succeeding at something and telling ourselves we just got lucky. If you find yourself discounting the positive, ask yourself why it doesn't count. Exactly, bruh. That's why it's like, I feel like some people, some people be like reaching or like uh, posting things just to get compliments and then se replying to certain comments just to fish out more compliments. Like they'll post a picture of themselves. Somebody be like, oh my God, you look cute. And like, no, I don't stop. They'd be like, no, you actually do. Like you look good and be like, oh my God, that felt good. Oh my God, I'm going to do it again to the next comment. Like, oh my god, I like your shoes. Nah, these are kind of old. Uh, no, they look good. Oh my god, you really think? Oh my god, they feel good. Like, shut the fuck up, bro. You may find you can't think of a valid reason. Exactly. Just show ass up and just accept Emotional the compliment. reasoning is believed. Like, I hate when a nigga know they look good and you be like, yeah, you look nice. Like, nah, man, I ain't even get a haircut. Like, nigga, shut the fuck up. Like, what are you talking about? In your feelings reflect reality. For example, you may feel lonely seeing others having fun and wrongly conclude that no one cares about you. Feelings are not facts, but reflections of your thoughts mm -hmm. and beliefs. Try to notice when you're thinking in unhelpful ways and ask yourself, what's the evidence for how you're feeling and are there alternative explanations? Yeah, maybe they just don't like you, my nigga, like... Should statements make us focus too much on how things should or must be, creating unrealistic expectations for your... This is the most important one, chat. Chat, this is the most important one. A lot of y'all feel that you should have your life. That's why it's like crazy how like y'all look at me as like an old head, which is fine. I like, it's fine. I, I, I fuck with it. I fuck with it. I accept it. Okay. But 
Y'all also think, because y'all see me as an old head, because I'm almost 30, that by 25, you should have a house in your name, a car in your name, and a wife. You see me as an old head, as, which, which means all that I should have, like, that you, you, by 30, you should already be, like, fucking damn near halfway retired. Really think about that. Y'all see it as so old when it's right around the corner for you. A lot of y'all are like in y'all 20s. And the way life has it perceived for y'all, the way y'all look at social media, if you don't have a car in your name, if you don't have a house in your name, and if you don't have a, a job that is at least a, a 90K, 100K sal plus salary, then you're failing. And that's not the case, bruh. That's not the case. Like, you still have time. Y'all trying to rush, like, y'all be trying to rush to grow up when y'all should be taking out time living as, li living while y'all young, doing all these fuck ups, trying all these things, like, that you want to do, do it while you're young, try to explore these things that you want to do while you're young, fuck up, fail, try something else, fuck up, fail, try something else. And then that's when. Once you get to a certain age, you start to look at, okay, I gotta, I gotta start really figuring this out. Like, that's really when you really gotta start figuring out, like, what you really want to do is around that age, like, uh, 20, like, 24, 25 is when you should be like, okay, maybe, let me, let me really think about what do I really want to do? Like, that's not when you should already have it figured out. You should still be thinking. A lot of y'all be rushing that, though. Take your time, man. Yourself and others. Should statements make us even if and stop looking at your peers too. some like I, I understand that, too. When I was still as a janitor, like the people that I went to school with, these guys had careers. They had fam like some of them had families and houses. I was like, I'm never like I do not see myself doing that. I'm still with my moms. Like I, I, I don't get how they doing this shit, man. But that was the problem. I kept looking at everybody else and wasn't focused on myself. I kept looking at what everybody else was doing and was not focused on myself. I'm not them. I didn't have the same. I didn't live the same life they did. I didn't go down the same path they went. So my story took a little longer. But that shit fucking bloomed and blossomed. Just took me a little later. That's why I'm damn near 30 right now. Oh my God, bro. Come on, bro. I'm really spitting these old head facts, bro. I'm really spinning these old head facts, but I really, but the, the thing is, I just really hope y'all are listening because at the age y'all are, I wish there was somebody talking to me the same way I'm trying to talk to y'all. Cause I needed this. Otherwise I would have been, I would have been younger doing this shit. Like I would have been, uh, I would have started earlier. I mean, God damn. what up? Green LXRD. I remember a couple years ago, you posted on your IG story that you were 40 with four kids lived with your mom and worked at Lowe's and I believed you for years. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. I remember that. Because, bro, people always wonder how old I was. And I was just like, you know what? Fuck it, bro. I'm going to create this lie. To feel apathetic and lead to disappointment. And it was so weird because, like, I was getting messages from, like, older men who were like, man, it's really good to see you out there doing your thing. And you look so young for your age, man. But to be doing this, I wish I could. But construction... I was like, <laughs> I, I didn't have the heart to be like, no, I'm actually a YouTuber, bro. <laughs> I'm just kind of bullshit, man. <laughs> I'm actually a YouTuber. I'm just like, bro, I'm, I'm like 20 something, man. Feelings of guilt and failure. With practice, it gets easier to notice and stop using them or to replace them with more realistic word statements, such as I would like to be better at this. Mm. Do you recognize any of these cognitive distortions in yourself? The best way to combat them is to become better at noticing when you're using them and to question whether there's a different and better way to see things. Start questioning, start questioning. If you're interested in more ways to change your mindset, you may enjoy this video on growth mindset and overcoming fear of failure. Which I feel is really important. Some people be scared to fail. Y'all, I be failing all the time, man. Y'all see me be playing these games. I be failing all the time in fucking in, in front of all these people, in front of thousands of people, bro. It is what it is. What they gonna say, man? L, so bad, you're trash. Yeah, that shit, that shit do be annoying, though. It's like, shut the fuck up. Let me play the game, bro. 